Hi, my name is Sam Cusimano and welcome to Electricity for Progress. Today we will be exploring my latest Biodata Wi-Fi board using the Adafruit Feather ESP32. This new Biodata board can mate with any of the Feather boards including Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, LoRa, data logging. Uh, it's going to be a great way for people to use Biodata sonification in a modern era uh, using a through-hole soldering kit. Uh, you can get the kit on my website linked below as well I can uh, make a fully assembled device. What I have to show today are uh, two devices uh, out of five that I've created for my friend Darren of Sacred Resonance. These are Wi-Fi biodata devices which are using RTP MIDI, also known as Apple MIDI, which is a way for MIDI data to be transmitted wirelessly between computers. I'm going to show you how to connect these two devices and it can be extrapolated to two, four, five, or any number. I don't know actually the limit of RTP MIDI for connections. Uh, this can work over networks, uh, over the internet, in tons of different ways. Uh, so it's a really exciting board to work with and it's a neat code base. This code base also is still uh, new in the works for me as well uh, and so there isn't a beautiful user interface uh, a web UI or anything built into the devices yet hopefully that's forthcoming uh, so what I want to talk about today is how to set up the devices uh, in the code you can see my Wi-Fi SSID which is Oxford East and of course my password which is also Oxford East uh, you can also see the MIDI channel that can be set here. Uh, each of your Biodata devices can either be set to a different channel or you can use different sessions of RTP MIDI in order to route data from different Biodata devices to different channels in Ableton Live, Logic, or any other uh, MIDI receiving uh, audio interface. So here we're going to set everything to channel one and we're going to uh, connect our device using this USB cable. And we're going to grab the uh, IP address of our Biodata device. We need that IP address in order to put it into our MIDI network setup. So now I'll press the button, turn the device on and we get a nice little light show. Uh, after a few moments, this will light up, and we're getting biodata right now from a snake plant that I have in the corner of my office. Uh, what I will do is come over to the Arduino IDE, click on Tools, and we want to access this uh, USB port. For the Adafruit Feather ESP32, this is always going to show up as SLAB USB to UART. Click on that. And now we want to go back to tools and click on the serial monitor. This is going to let us read data from the Adafruit Feather board. I'm going to press the button. And sometimes this takes multiple presses. It takes a little bit of time for the device to connect to Wi-Fi. So I'm going to just kind of frantically press it. There we go. And we see our IP address shows up. We also see RTP MIDI not connected. It knows it's not connected yet. So let's go over to our MIDI network setup. I'm going to click the plus for my sessions and create session one. Always click the checkbox and make sure the enabled checkbox is clicked. Your session has to be active in order for the MIDI to flow. We're now going to connect our device to our session, right? There's two phases that have to be connected for each of these devices to make the MIDI data flow through to Ableton Live using sessions. So session one is active. We will click the plus under directory and we will call this Biodata Red because of the red button. So Biodata Red and our IP address is what is listed here in the serial monitor 192.168.0. Eight six dot one five one, and I will click OK. 
our device is not yet connected. We must again click on the device in our directory and click connect. Now we should be receiving some MIDI data. So don't depend on seeing things in the monitor over here. Let's go over, boom, connected to session. We see that in our serial data. Pop over to Ableton Live. In our MIDI channel, I'm going to try to grab data specifically from that session one, right, that we've created our MIDI network. So network session one, and we can see that we're getting MIDI data on channel one already. That's great. I'm going to bring in a little sound here, and we now have music coming from our plant through Wi-Fi MIDI. Pretty cool. I'm going to mute this for now. Let's jump ahead and get our second device set up. I'm going to come back to Arduino, close the MIDI monitor, and unplug the USB cable. Uh, because we have uh, LiPo batteries, uh, the device continues to run. It will run for 17, 15, 17 hours on a single charge. You can see the orange light when the device is charging here through USB. I will again push the blue button on this unit and we get a light show showing that the device is powered on. I'm going to use a cable here, plug it into the green jack for biodata. And when I squeeze the electrodes, you see the light show turn on as it's reading the biodata from my skin. You have to really change to the amount that you touch the electrodes. If you just squeeze and hold it, uh, it might stop reading. The biodata sonification devices here are tuned uh, for plants, essentially. <clears throat> uh, human skin is very conductive, and if you just squeeze and change your squeezing, you'll get a nice stream of data. Now let's connect this device through serial monitor and see its IP address. We again will go to tools and make sure the port is set to SLAB USB to UART, which it is, and we will click the serial monitor. All right, the serial monitor is active. We'll press the button. Again, it might take a few times. Boom. RT PIDI, P MIDI not connected, which makes sense. We're not connected yet. Here's our, P, our IP address. My suggestion here is we're using MIDI channel one on each of our devices. I suggest using a separate session for each of your biodata devices. So click plus, add a session two here. Click the checkbox next to session two, make sure it's enabled. Your session has to be enabled in order for it to work properly. And then go down in the directory, click plus, and now we're gonna add our blue biodata device. So type in biodata blue, and we'll type in our IP address, which is showing up in the Arduino IDE, 86.114, okay. We will now select Biodata Blue. So we have session two selected. You see it, it's enabled. We've selected Biodata Blue. We have connect to Biodata Blue. We'll uh, squeeze the electrodes. And now let's go back over to the Arduino or to uh, Ableton Live in MIDI channel two here, our second channel on MIDI, we're going to select network session two, you see show up here. So this is our biodata blue in MIDI network session two. We see that we're getting data on channel one of MIDI, again makes sense from our program. And let's bring over a uh, sound set so we can have, uh, so this is the sound of my fingers touching uh, the electrodes. And now we'll bring back in the sound of the plant. And we have two biodata sonification devices transmitting MIDI data through Wi Fi to our Ableton Live using RTP MIDI on two different network sessions. Uh, there's many different ways to configure this type of information. Uh, and you can use different devices and different softwares to connect and extract this MIDI information. This works amazingly well also with iPhones and iPads, which just show up in the directory. And using our live routings over here, which I didn't really touch on, you can send data to iPhones and iPads and other devices that are connected to your network very easily. 
Again, very, very cool way of having an elaborate MIDI network set up using one or many computers. And here we have two out of you know, five that I'm about to ship uh, out to Australia for uh, Sacred Resonance uh, to have a nice installation. So let me know if there's any questions in the comments uh, or reach out to me directly and check out the links to Sacred Resonance to see the amazing biodata sonification work that they have done, uh, including plants, uh, human heartbeats, very great sounds, very great electronics and programming, brilliant people. Uh, and also check out the links for the kits and also my new Biodata Wi-Fi devices that I'll have uh, fully constructed. Uh, thank you very much for joining me today and uh, happy hacking. Enjoy your Biodata. Cheers.